Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Hampton Municipal Budget Committee meeting for Tuesday evening, January 14th, 2020. Welcome to the viewers at home on Channel 22 watching this evening and for those who came out here tonight in our beautiful town hall facility. As always, you can watch the replays of this meeting after tonight by logging on to the Town of Hampton website, scrolling down to Channel 22, and go to the various committees, selectmen, uh, village district, planning board, uh, you name it, you can watch all the replays and the cable TV folks, Bill and company tonight, and, and Brian McCain, everybody does such a great job and we thank them. Um, I would ask Chuck Rage to lead us into Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> this time we're going to start on my far right and to your left of the viewers at home. We'll start introducing yourself. Stephen LeBranch. David Mara. Mike Plouffe. Brian Warburton, Chairman. Steve Henderson. Rusty Bridal, Selectman's Rep. Chuck Wage, representing the Hampton Beach Village District. Joyce Kifferness. And our administrative assistant, Barbara Kravitz. I had uh, down on the uh, agenda tonight, minutes of January 7th, Barbara sent those out this afternoon, so we'll put those off till Thursday night uh, before the public hearing. We'll get those out of the way, but they're looking good, Barbara. I had a chance to check them real briefly. Um, tonight's meeting is the last meeting on Warnock, because before we have our public hearing at the Hampton Academy on Thursday night. We have a kind of uh, a few housekeeping measures, so some, some good stuff has happened. And also, I was informed uh, by Mr. Welch in, in Selectman Bridal that as of five o'clock today, uh, there were no petition warrant articles that happening to do with money. So the first one we want to clean up tonight, and I want to thank my vice chair Mike Pluff, uh, along with Mr. Welch, and I know Jamie Sullivan and Christy Plum were very involved in this too. Here's the deal with Article 45. And I'd ask you to look back through your packets from last week. That has to do with the Warren article to raise and appropriate $6,500 uh, for the American Legion uh, bronze flag holders to reimburse the Legion that amount. Since the meeting took place on January 7th, we found out that we cannot remove a private petition article from the Warren. And to make it easier on the voters and to make it easier on everybody, we felt with the overwhelming support for this because, as Rusty has said and others, we, we appreciate our veterans. Let's get behind this Warren article this year. Get it passed. The town management and the selectmen next year will put it in the budget so that we don't have to deal with this anymore. Um, so anybody have any comments for to make a motion to put the 6,500 in the Warren article? So I'm, let's set the official motion to approve Article 45 moved by Mr. Pluff seconded by Mr. Warburton. All those in favor? Unanimous, thank you. The other uh, housekeeping, we had added $6,500 to the operating budget. We are asking that we now remove that from the uh, the budget number for this year. Uh, do I have a motion to do that? So moved. Moved by Mr. Bridal, seconded by Mr. Pluff. All Would those in like, favor, go ahead. Do you want the number? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, it's 28 million. Three hundred and twenty-two thousand three hundred and thirty-six dollars. So we don't need to remove the sixty-five hundred first, or just as a whole, just make. Well, that motion. would just be the bottom. Okay. The new so, button. so let's. Uh, However you want to do it. You know what? Let's do. Uh, let's okay. do it cleaner. Let's remove the sixty-five hundred first. Yeah. Moved by Mr. Pluff, seconded by Ms. Capretis. Sure. Any uh, discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. And now let's move the bottom line. Uh, Christy, twenty-eight million. Three hundred and twenty-two thousand three thirty-six. I'll make that motion. Moved by Mr. LeBranch, seconded by Mr. Pluff. Everybody understand the intent of the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Thank you. We've got two more Warren articles. I'm going to go to Article 29 first. Um, we have Article 18, Article 29. The first one is, shall the town of Hampton raise and appropriate the sum of $116,300 for the purpose of improving the radio and town emergency communication system for the police, fire, public works, building, emergency management, and other departments of the town 
said appropriation to be offset by funds in the amount of $116,300 to be received in the fall of 2020 from the state of New Hampshire under Chapter 346 of the Acts of 2019, House Bill 4, as unrestricted municipal aid, majority vote required. I must thank Town Manager Welch again and the management and selectmen. This, this is a wonderful thing. This is money we're going to get. We already earmarked for Elaine Street the 116000 and now this is going to be additional monies put to good use. Everybody understand this motion? I'll make a motion. Moved by Mr. LeBranch, seconded by Mr. Mara. All those in favor? Unanimous. And last but not least, we have, um, and again, I, I have to... Uh, I have to compliment the selectmen and the management. Um, I watch all the meetings. That's when I'm not at the transfer station, so I do watch, and I watch your meetings, too. So, and they're not open in the evening. Well, I've asked Jamie to open it up. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. So, Article 18. Uh, I think this is a terrific, um, terrific article based on let's start from scratch and move forward. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of 435000 from the 1998 Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund previously established for the purpose of the survey, engineering, and design work for replacing the Winnicunnet Road and High Street sewer, enclosed drainage system mains, sewer services, then followed by curbing, sidewalks, school zone, and pedestrian signage, street lights, traffic signage, paving of the entire roadway, and line painting. Reconstruction of the roadway may ultimately include traffic calming structures or other improvements to assist in controlling the speed of vehicles. Further, to authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply for, contract for, accept and expend any federal, state, or local grants and funds towards the project in accordance with the terms and conditions under which they are received for the purpose of sidewalks, uh, CMAC uh, mitigation, state or federal highway funding or hazardous mitigation grants with said grants and funds to be added to the project and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to implement such cost-effective solutions as are presented in the future that they deem to be in the best interest of the town that may result in lesser amount of expenditure than is authorized by his warrant article and to authorize participation in the state revolving fund RSA 486-14 established for this purpose and to authorize the Board of Selectmen to take any and all actions necessary to carry out the project in the best interest of the town. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32-7, Roman numeral 6, and shall not lapse until the work is completed on or by March 31st, March 31st 2024, whichever is sooner. Um, Mr. Wells, did you want to say anything to this? Mr. Chairman, welcome. Thank you, sir. The uh, Board of Selectmen uh, wrestled with what to do with these two particular streets, and uh, I think everybody sort of heard the last couple of meetings. Uh, the first thought was perhaps to appropriate a million dollars to start the work. Yes. Uh, but that would entail uh, a number of years of different work. So this process will start by doing all the engineering so we can lay out the work completely for both streets and then come to the town meeting in one or more appropriations to do the work. The theory here is that we will advance each year with a warrant article that will do engineering work that will allow us two to three years later to do a section of roadway in the town someplace that deserves to be rebuilt and reconstructed along with the sewers. So this is the beginning of a process. Yes. Hopefully it's a process that will roll along and be, be good and take care of some of this is a, these are major arterial roadways so they need to be done first yeah. because they take all the traffic and heavy traffic so that's the theory that we're operating <coughs> on this will allow us to do this work in a compact and concise manner for the entire project thank you any questions of the management i just want to comment that i i always like a plan and i like i appreciate this is good management this is how you do something you know, if you do it, break it into pieces, small pieces, and you get it done, and it doesn't kill everybody. You know? That's the objective. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Mara, do you have any? Nothing. Mr. Pluffin? <coughs> this pertains to all of Winnicott Road. All of Winnicott and all of, of uh, High Street. All of High Street? Yes. 
Some some yeah. of High Street already has new sewer. Right. The but the upper end from from Five Corners uh, up to uh, Route One does not. Right. No. <coughs> yeah. Good. So is that going to encompass on High Street up to like Dearborn Avenue in that area, or it could go further? It'll encompass the entire roadway. There are various okay. types of construction that need yeah. to be done right. on each portion of the roadway. Yeah. The lower end to, from uh, Five Corners down to Route 1A does not require much in the way of work. It's mostly paving, fixing the sidewalks. Right, the sewer was done, just be milling and repaving it. Right. Okay, thank you. Uh, the only other question I had is, you, uh, we're going to take it from the capital reserve fund. Fred, I thought we were doing unfunded balance for this. Do we have enough left in the capital reserve fund? We program? will have well over a million dollars uh, as of uh, town meeting. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Mr. Henderson? Yeah, this is a great article. It's an area that's in dire need. Uh, these roads in this area here is just getting worse every day, so uh, it's still going to put it off for a period of a year or two anyways. So therefore, it's a great article, and I hope everybody will support it. Thank you. Mr. Brado? Yeah, just to follow up with this, you know, as the Public Works Director said, you, know, you plan the work, then you work the plan. And, uh, you know, they, they, we had an article that was proposed to us that uh, for a million dollars, and really didn't know there wasn't a lot of information out there. It was just we had to start to do something, and we let's talk with the uh, public works. We said they said it wouldn't be happening for over a year anyways because we'd have to have it all engineering. So, all right, so let's do the engineering part. Let's see what we need, and then we can go for there and break it into parts to get it done. So excellent. Now I like the plan. Sorry. I think it's a great idea <coughs> to bring things forward slowly. Uh, Hampton taxpayers have been hit pretty hard lately, so I, I like planning forward. Thank you, Mr. Rage. Ms. Capertis? No questions, thank you. Yeah, I just want to make a quick comment and thank Mr. Bridal. Um, you know, I remember when Rusty brought this thing about the million dollars up, and then you're absolutely right, and let's take a step back and maybe start from this arena. And I'm really excited about every year now we're going to be putting articles in. We've got to get, right, Stephen, these roads, just like we did at the beach. Uh, I mean, the, the main infrastructure part of the beach, we still got work down there. But I think it's a really good start. And Mr. Welch, same thing. I think it's, I, I'm really excited about the fact that we're going to do this. And then this gets done. All the engineering for both streets get done. We don't have to revisit. And then we go, go from there. So I'll accept a motion to... Raise and appropriate Article 18, the sum of 435000 uh, to bring to the public hearing. Moved by Mr. Mara, seconded by Mr. Rage. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Just a couple things. Uh, Mr. Brado, do you have any selectments report? No, it's been pretty quiet other than <laughs> the stuff we've already worked on right now. Great. Um, Mr. Rage, welcome. Uh, Thank any you. Hampton Village District report? Well, we have the Village District every year does a work session on our budget yes. before we come and see you. Yes. And that is on, I can't find it. Is it the 22nd? 20, 22nd at the fire station at 20. 1230. Thank so, you, Mr. Wells. Thanks, Mr. Sullivan. Thanks, Thank Mr. Sullivan. Anybody Thank is welcome you. to come Thank and you. listen and throw next in two, Next Wednesday. Yeah. Great. Chuck, can I ask, and I asked Mr. LeBranch this, but um, after the public hearing and after our town delivery session, the next regularly scheduled meeting of the Budget Committee will be Tuesday, February 18th. Is that the night you folks could come with your village district budget? Yes. Yes, that's, I think that's what we will We'll plan. be ready. Good, and yep. so we'll plan on that. Mm -hmm. um, on the school board report, Mrs. Brado Russell has a meeting tonight, but I just want to add, it's like a segue into my closing comments about Thursday night. Um, I've been working with... Uh, the vice chair and Kathleen Murphy and town officials, we're going to have a great meeting Thursday night. There will be signage on all the doors getting into the auditorium. There will be people that are going to actually show people where to go for those who have been in it. I would urge all budget committee members to get there a little early. We want to start right at 7, but you're going to, you know, to get set up. I have no idea what the table is going to look like. It is going to be broadcast live on 22, and I also have been told by Superintendent Murphy possibly on simultaneously on Channel 13. So that's a great thing. And why is that? Because we approved the nice auditorium, right? It's, we're going to be starting to have meetings there, more and more meetings. And that meeting will convince, uh, commence at 7 p.m. Uh, this Thursday night. And then after that, pretty much the budget committee roll uh, goes right into the deliberate session uh, February 1st, which also will be held at the Hampton Academy Auditorium, and that's at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday, February 1st. 
where the uh, taxpayers come out and get a chance to speak to the articles, make any amendments. Uh, and a reminder, and I will do this Thursday night too, the, the public hearing Thursday is strictly that. There's not a, a debate between the public. It's their opportunity to give us feedback and let them speak, and I think it's going to go very well. We are going to do the school first, uh, and it should um, work out excellently. Any uh, closing comments? Mr. LeBranch? No. Mr. Mara? No. Mr. Plough? No. Mr. Henderson? Mr. Bridal? The only thing I'd say is make sure everybody, you know, if you're concerned about your taxes, you're concerned about what goes on in town, go to the public hearing. Yes. And also go to the deliberative session. Absolutely. Both of those are very important. It's not only important to get out and vote on March 10th. Yes. But, uh, you just have to know it. Yeah, just, <laughs> I was just trying to think of what it was. It's March 10th. But it's also important to, to, to get educated. Go to the public hearing. Go to the... Um, Go to the deliberative session and find out what it is and, and see how the process works. Um, thank you. And I, before we adjourn, I am going to pass to my left. This is these are the warrant articles. This is actually the warrant that you will bring with you Thursday night. Um, and Barbara can have a copy. And can I ask? Does anybody see Jenny before then? The rest of this? I don't know if I'll see her or not. So we'll get it. We'll get her a copy. Um, does everybody have one on that side? Okay. Go um, you got one. You have, what's that, Mike? Oh, I'll bring it with me anyway. So I think she's. De I know she's definitely going to be at the uh, public yeah, hearing. Be I'll see him. Yeah, yeah. Give, give that to me. Yeah, and I, I know that she's definitely going to be at the public hearing. And, and I want to thank. It's been a great budget season so far, and we have we now made it to public hearing. And I want to thank all the representatives. I think we've had a great team effort, and I really appreciate all the uh, input by all of you. Uh, move to adjourn. Moved by Mr. Curtis at 723. Seconded by Mr. Pluff. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, and thank you to viewers at home. Okay.